Today we are going to take a look at how to share data between steps. Let's get started. I'm going to use the test suite from last week's video as base for sharing data. If you would like to know how to use parameters in your BDD steps, please check out the video from last week. I start off with a new step which will use the share data. Now I'm performing a right click and click on create missing step implementation to create a step skeleton which is this piece of code. At first we need to store our data into the user data property of the context object. I do this real quick for all data that I would like to share. And now I can use this data in the earlier created step. Let's get rid of this warning first, which was just a reminder from the create missing step implementation feature. Now I'm just printing out the data, but in general any kind of action or operation can be done. For example, calculating. Now the script is ready to run. After running the script, we can see that the data was shared successfully from step 1 to step 2. Thanks for watching. If you have further questions, get in touch with us by writing an email to squish at froglogic.com. You can check out Squish on your own by requesting a free trial. You might also be interested in our second product, Coco, which is a multi language coach coverage tool. Don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for more videos. Bye bye!